Salas has released version 1.1.0, which includes a new way to earn money that has been worked on for a long time, container workloads. This video I've compiled many questions that you may have about container workloads and 1.1.0 in general. Most of the answers I've written include info from Salad employees and also have been checked by them. Oh, and this video is not an official Salad video. I've just compiled some questions and answers. The video will have two sections for convenience, general slash CPU container questions and GPU container questions. Oh, and speaking of Salad, I'm working on a game based off Salad, Salad Simulator. Join the Discord or check out the cello if you're interested, please. Container workloads allow style shifts to run containers on their PCs. Containers are a way that allows developers to package all the components needed to run an application into a small, portable format. With this, it can be deployed to nearly any computer in an isolated environment. This will allow companies to run out SolidShift's hardware for their own use, such as AI training and 3D rendering. If you want to learn more how to set it up, I have a video on that here. And for running GPU container jobs, follow the video and set up containers like normal, but enable GPU instead of CPU. Your PC must be running Windows 11 or Windows 10 1903 or later, and your CPU must support virtualization. Most CPUs from the early 2010s and above support it, so most people don't have to worry about that. All you really need to do is enable it in your BIOS. If you already have Salad but never enable containers, head into your settings and click Enable Container Environment and follow the guide when it pops up. If you've just downloaded the latest version of Salad, Salad will walk you through the steps during the onboarding process. This will install the necessary components required for it such as WSL and link some guides to enable virtualization for your PC or you can search up how to do it yourself. You might have seen that your earnings are less now that containers are fully released versus when it was in beta. Because containers are out of beta and everyone has access to it, there is less higher paying jobs on the network. One of the main priorities for Salad right now is to onboard more companies and get more jobs available for everyone. Since the third beta of 1.0.9, users have noticed that Autostar has been permanently enabled. This is not permanent, and Sal is working on options for users to control when Sal starts and when it detects you are idle, including delaying it indefinitely. This will also address the concerns for VR and controller users, as Sal seems to not detect them yet. For now, you'll either have to disable the hardware via Sal's performance tab or completely close Sal it out. The size difference between versions is because of the inclusion of CUDA for GPU containers, which is required for most GPU workloads as it is NVIDIA's API for general compute processing. Currently, most NVIDIA GPUs are eligible for GPU container jobs needing at least 4GB of VM or above. However, most of the jobs on the Salad network require at least 8GB of VRAM or above. The main reason for that is most workloads that Salad clients want to run require higher amounts of VRAM. Generally, if you receive a GPU job, you'll earn more than if you received a CPU job. This is because GPUs are more suited for computational tasks such as AI training and 3D rendering I mentioned earlier. Because of this, GPU power is more sought after by companies looking to do these workloads and pay more for their power. An example of a workload like this are ones that generate images using AI. The main reason for this is that the Salad network primarily demands NVIDIA GPUs to run their workloads. Salad is working on expanding to other brands of GPUs in the future. Right now, you cannot run CPU and GPU container jobs at the same time. You can run CPU container jobs and run GPU mining, but not vice versa.
Some AI models can take tens of gigabytes of space. This also means you should be careful if you have a limited data plan. In general, you should try to have at least 50 gigabytes of storage free on your main drive to make sure you're able to download the workloads. While you can have multiple GPUs on the same machine, Salad can currently only use one of them at a time. It will use whatever GPU best matches the available workloads first. Unfortunately, Salad has no plans to support these GPUs in the future as they are focusing on consumer hardware. That's all the questions I have compiled for this video. Thanks for watching. Join the Salad Discord server or my Discord server if you have more questions. Check out my websites and my upcoming game. Anyways, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, do whatever. And of course, use code JovenMC on Salad.